LSC fans. Oh, this past Saturday night, they blew the roof off of Monroe, Ohio with Gold Rush 2011. We saw a new heavyweight champion crown, Shark Boy. He won the Fatal 4 match against Scary Gary, pin Scary Gary in the, in the final match. Ledbetter, he was gone. J-Rock, J-Rock was gone, left Scary Gary. Shark Boy in there, Shark Boy won the title. Everybody was celebrating, except for Eddie Gonzalez and his band of, I don't know what you want to call them, Heather Owens, I, I saw her there, Tucker Carson, I, I'm sorry, I don't know who the other guy was. They slid into the ring, they attacked a beaten down already Shark Boy, demanded a title shot, they got their title shot August 20th at Retribution. That one also is going to be in Monroe, Ohio at the LSC Arena. We also had all that, that awesome triple threat tag team match. Brutally handsome, the champions. They got out of there with their titles intact again. Smoking Aces gave them hell. Punk Rock Rebellion gave them everything they had. Brutally Handsome still came out on top of that one. Big T, Big T once again beat down and defeated Moondog Fugly. There was also I a half pint Fugly. I, you know, I thought I'd never see a Fugly three and a half foot tall, but apparently there is one. Haystacks was out there. wasn't much he could do. And then everybody heard the music and this masked character with, with the, the, the dojo coat on or whatever they call it the, in karate, Kung Fu Fugly, I don't know. But all those people on the outside, they still could help Moondog. He still filled a big T. The surprise of the evening, though, in the one qualifying match between Mike DeMoose Musso, led to the ring by L.A. Black, took on Jack Verville. That match ended in a, in a double countout. Neither men advanced, but a new member to Black Ink, to the Black Army, was revealed that night as diehard Tom McLean. <laughs> Bragging everybody that he did it in flip flops. I got to give you that one, McLean. Went out there, they beat down Jack Verville, left the building. No reason for him to stay because neither man advanced. No reason, like I said, no reason for LA Black to, to stay there. Shark Boy defeated uh, Ledbetter in like, what was it, like 17 seconds, they said. But what happened after intermission, one of the most heinous things that I, Double J, have ever witnessed was when they forced security guy Alex, the guy in a wheelchair, forced him to get into the ring to face Ledbetter. And if he lost, he would be suspended for 30 days. And Mr. Jenkins approved this. Had him ring the bell before the guy even got out of his wheelchair. He couldn't even get into the ring by a 10 count. You know, I don't blame Ledbetter for this. I blame you, Jenkins. That was the most disgusting thing I had ever seen. Making that poor kid in that wheelchair compete against somebody like Ledbetter. Someone with the credentials that Sergeant Ledbetter has. The, the hardcore American hero. What were you thinking? That disgusted me so bad. And then I try to tell you about it, and you have the nerve to threaten to fire me? Yeah, I was just going to keep this as just, you know, kind of a review of Gold Rush. But you threatening to fire me lit something in me, old man. At Retribution, I'm going to call you out. I'm going to issue you an ultimatum. I'm not going to say a word about it right now. You 
and everybody else will find out of retribution what Double J's got to say. And that's going to be August 20th, Saturday night at 7 o'clock at the LSC Arena. Retribution. Looks like it's going to be Eddie Gonzalez against Shark Boy for the LSC title. Hard telling who is going to be facing the tag team champions. Brutally handsome for those titles. What's L.A. Black going to have in store this time? Mr. Jenkins, what's Double J got in store for you?